the significance of this video is we hope, we really hope that it will be, uh, will have a similar impact as the Wright Brothers video in the sense that it proves to the humanity that the new mode of transportation is possible. Uh, it has the independently verifiable uh, proof that um, that this new mode of transportation does work and does exist. Um, and we hope it will start um, some kind of a new market, new economy um, for this new mode of transportation, which uh, we call flying cars. Right now, for most people, for the general consumer, it's prohibitively expensive because it's expensive for us to produce one. But it's because it's a very low volume production and it's very inefficient. So it's not uh, optimized for manufacturing. As we go further and it will be optimized for manufacturing, and as the volume increases, the end goal, again, that's not going to be the next year or the year after that, the end goal, the end goal, it should be actually um, same level or less expensive than Toyota Corolla for Focus or anything like that because it's less complex. We hope that most people will use uh, more flying cars than the ground cars because that will relieve traffic. That will make the world actually move more efficient, will make people uh, get to their destination more efficient. And so the infrastructure would change because the million cars in the air um, would probably need a different kind of regulation, even though it actually already exists. There is already uh, highways in the sky. It's probably the best search and rescue vehicle ever created in history because whatever car cannot get and the helicopter cannot get or an airplane cannot get, the flying car could get. Not only because it can both drive vertically take off and uh, literally land between the trees, also it doesn't have huge wings. Um, it can literally fly right next to the building to, um, for example, rescue somebody from the balcony and so on. So it can get places where no, literally no other type of vehicle in history can get. It's hard to estimate when as far as the exact year. But I think it's going to be a very, very gradual process. Um, it's good for many, many reasons to have a gradual process, to get it to consumers so people um, slowly get used to it, see how safe it is, see how quiet it is, um, see the benefits of it, not only, not only for themselves, but, for example, for search and rescue vehicles. So it's a slow, gradual process where people are going to see one, 10, uh, 50, 100, and so on.